Scientists at the University of Colorado recently announced new findings that point to further signs of our changing climate. One involves the amount of ice cover in the world. And as 7 News meteorologist Richard Ortner tells us, scientists know that the first signs of climate change will show up in the Arctic, and Colorado researchers are on the leading edge of this research. Arctic sea ice is melting. You've heard it before. But new evidence is painting a more drastic picture of the reality. It's kind of like looking at a facade of a Hollywood movie set. You look at it and it looks realistic, it looks nice, but then you look behind and there's not much there. Last summer, the Arctic sea ice hit a historic low, and the inside passage was ice-free for the first time that anyone can remember. But what we're seeing is the ice cover becoming more and more vulnerable. It's getting thinner. That's a long-term change. That's not natural variability. In other words, it's the old ice that's now thinning and disappearing. One or two cool summers or cool winters is not going to change things. Um, this is on a downward trend, and it, it would take many, many years of very cool conditions to reverse that. You can still see the remnants of our most recent snowstorm, but today turned out to be gorgeous. That's weather. You expect it to be different every day. With climate, climates change too, but by definition, you expect it to be more stable. But as we've seen with the Arctic, climate change can be fast and dramatic. And with a changing climate comes new questions. And also in terms of who owns the Arctic. In the past, it really hasn't been that important because the ice was there. There wasn't much you could do. But now as that's opening up, different countries are starting to make claims, Russia, Canada, the U.S. Richard Ortner, 7 News.